cold ending yet again for the Jets here at Heinz Field. Their Super Bowl dream dies 30 minutes short of the Super Bowl. This time it was the wrong 30 minutes. They played a good first half last year, bad second half. The roles were reversed this year here in Pittsburgh, but unfortunately for the Jets, the outcome stays the same. You know, as Darrell Rivas, their best defensive player, put it, we came out flat. Um, I think this is a game right here that, that where we started off uh, slow and um, just couldn't ever bounce back from it. You know, I'm proud of our guys. We, we played a good half. We just never played a good game. And, you know, you got to give Pittsburgh credit. You know, that's a heck of a football team there. And if you plan on beating them, you better put a uh, – four quarters together, and, and we didn't do that uh, today. This is a team that lost in this game last year, that fed off the emotional attitude that they love to take these last two weeks in beating both Indianapolis and New England on the road, and they just didn't have that edge coming out of the tunnel today. you got to uh, give credit to them. Um, they came out fast, and, um, you know, they got on top of us, uh, you know, real quick, and uh, we couldn't bounce back from it. Well, the Jets did make a game of this one in the second half, but like we said, a little too little, a little too late, and some really game-turning plays are particularly a strip sack fumble on Sanchez and a bad sequence on fourth uh, on four downs inside, what, the two-yard line? Communication and the headset. Yeah, the that headset's was a going weird out. Thing. Such a strange time. He said Mark Sanchez is the first time that happened that he could think of, and talk about bad timing. And then on fourth down, they put the ball in the hands of their most desperate player, LaDainian Tomlinson. He gets stopped at the goal line. Maybe Sean Green should get the ball there. Obviously, the Steelers took over there, and uh, the Jets ended up getting a safety. Right. They did make it a little bit more interesting in getting the safety, but then, as the Steelers go on that last drive, it was the key two-minute warning. Big Ben in such a, a signature moment, rolls right, third down, you know, desperately one more play, they can go to the knee and finish the game, and sure enough, he completes a 14-yard pass, and you could just see it then on the Jets' sideline. They knew it was over. Obviously, the future here with the Jets is still pretty promising. I mean, two years, Rex Ryan, Mark Sanchez as the franchise quarterback, two years, one step away from the Super Bowl. But this team, as constituted, the season ends, and there's a lot of finality to that. Our goal for next year, I got news for you, it won't change, and it'll never change. We're going to chase that Super Bowl. We're going we're gonna to chase it until we get it and then we'll chase it after that again. Obviously a disappointing end for the Jets, and clearly an emotional one, too. You saw Rex Ryan at the podium looking a little sad. Maybe there were a few tears shed, and he wouldn't have been alone. You could see from the red-rimmed eyes of different players that this one hurt. And, um, you know, just uh, a huge amount of disappointment for us. But, uh, like I say, I'm proud of our team. I don't think uh, there's many teams that, that could have gone through what we did and got here and almost pulled out another one.